Okay, everybody. We're going to do a collective read. All right, so these messages, they're general. So if it applies, then it's for you. If it don't, y'all need to let it fly. Okay. Now, we're going to start off with my minis. <laughs> The Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards here. And then we'll find another deck to get more tea from, okay? So let's just grab the energy here of the read. Some of you have, uh, you're on a split you're separated from your twin flame here. We got X and twin flame. I hope y'all can see. We got X and twin flame. So it looks like this person could have stabbed you in the back. Yeah, we got the dragonfly heart with the key stabbed in the back and then both. Seduction and love call and photograph. And the snake, okay, so, and then the hand of cards. So this person has some options. This person had a lot of people chasing after them. Oh, it looks like they could be in a karmic relationship. Wow, this person could have stated that they don't want, they don't want to be in the connection right now. We got seduction, love call, and photograph. So, yeah, this definitely is giving me that there's an interference. Thank you, Spirit. This is definitely giving me the energy of uh, interference as well as this person is a snake, okay? Because they was just, they playing the hands that's dealt to them. They're chasing out the karmic right now. We got karmic relationship and the chaser. They're chasing out the karmic right now. I could have left you heartbroken. Because they chasing after a karmic. This person is super duper narcissistic, y'all. They self-absorb and they like to, they like relationships that are one-sided. They don't want something that's equal. They don't want something that is a balance. They want to take, 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 take and not fill up the cup, okay? Hmm. This person could be mirroring your energy or their or you're mirroring their energy. But I definitely do get that there is a you and your twin flame are currently in separation. We're gonna use this twin flame deck right here. We're gonna use the twin flame journey oracles by Mystic Moon. And let's see what we can get. Let's see what's going on. Alright, so what's going on with the collective and their twin flame? This person is over here contemplating about having a fresh start with you. They recognize this connection. They have come to realize and recognize the part that you play in their life. Okay, we got recognition. They want this fresh start. But they're over here contemplating, thinking about it, overthinking about it. Like, you know, they painted this picture. Um... They painted some type of messed up picture of you. Maybe something that happened last summer. I feel them being afraid to come towards you. Maybe because it has something to do with their finances. We got received in material world. Maybe because um, they feel like they don't have enough. They aren't enough to come towards you. I 
I do see them dealing with the third party. Okay, we got awakening and guide. So they're realizing, and then we got inner child, okay? So they're realizing that you're waking up, that you are possibly doing some healing from um, your childhood. They admire that about you. They feel like you're very dark, though, like you had a dark childhood. We got dark night of the soul. But right now, this, this is what they're dealing with. We got a karmic partner right here. This is who they're dealing with in this season. We got winter. And this is a third party. So this person could have been dealing with this person the same time that they were dealing with you. I see you healing. You're going to be healing. I feel like you already are going through a healing. Um, for some of you, this has already occurred. For some of you, this just may be something that could occur. But I definitely do see healing from this situation. Dealing with this third party. This person, it looks like they are trying to reinvent themselves they're trying to make themselves look like they're a family like they're all about family um they're coming up they're coming towards you um wanting to compromise and ask for forgiveness and saying that they are wanting to take a new direction with their divine feminine so they come into you they're returning they're returning. They are returning. Someone is saying that they don't want to settle. They no longer want to settle for just anything or anyone. There could have been a marriage that could have been destroyed. We got the tower and commitment. Like this could have tore up a marriage, tore up a family, tore up just a someone, a situation or relationship that was significant. Okay, if this is your twin flame. This is something significant. But see, the signs are everywhere. Like they're seeing all the signs. All the signs are cautioning them. Spirit is showing them all types of signs. Okay, and I feel like they're stuck thinking about the past and possibly how they abandoned you. They're coming towards you with an offer. They're coming towards you with an offer. And that's this point blank in here. Okay. Tell me what else is going on with the collective, please. All right, the Ace of Swords. I'm getting a confession, a confessional. Somebody's getting some clarity. Yep, the moon didn't. I tell you, the confession. So a confession is coming up. Yep, the lovers here. Someone could be confessing their love. Um, somebody made a choice, making better choices in the future. Um, they don't want to be without you. They're afraid that they could start to sneak off and lie and be manipulative. And they're afraid of that. Um, but I'm getting like, before I do that, I, I'll leave. They're going to do it. They're going to be so into it. They're going to feel like, <laughs> they're going to feel like um, they trying too hard. That's just how bad they're going to be reaching out and bugging and begging oh goodness this person feels like they this person stabbed you in the back it, but it happened so quick. Like, this person could be a King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or a Capricorn. Queen of Cups. I got the King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Come on now. This is, y'all are a match. Y'all are definitely soulmates, twin flames. This, for some of you, this could be a, a husband or a baby father. With that emperor here could be an Aries. I 
All right, so I'm getting somebody uh, feeling like, you know, feeling bad for how something the truth got out or how the truth, um, how it was said, how it was brought out. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. Somebody told somebody to leave. Somebody feelings was hurt because somebody told somebody to leave. Um, somebody got caught being sneaky. Eight of Swords and a Seven of Swords. Somebody just got caught being sneaky. And I see a connection ended for good. Yeah. This was a big wake up call. I'm seeing somebody exposed. I'm seeing exposed. Now, there could have been an issue that happened in the recent past with this person. Um, some type of disagreement. Could it be involving money? Somebody needing to work on themselves or somebody worked on themselves and they are not star quality. Could be dealing with a Scorpio here. Um, I'm getting a marriage. Could have possibly ended. There could have been a split of some sort. Someone could have, um, I'm just getting conflict. Somebody jealous because somebody had a glow up. And I'm getting also future energy. I feel like um, this King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be a male or Leo, somebody feel like their 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 emotions. Um, they got caught up in their emotions, and as well, somebody could be feeling like maybe something is just for fun, or somebody saying, "Can we go back to how it was?" Yeah, this is a toxic cycle that I feel like you guys have to have the courage to get over. Because we got the devil, six swords, and the strength card. It could be a Leo. Leo's energy coming up a lot. Um, I see you coming off a lot more more strict, more, more having more boundaries because I'm seeing a resisting. You resisting from this, from having to deal with this person because I feel like you you could have told this person to leave. You could have told this person to get out, and this is over for good this time. This person wants to communicate with you. They're waiting for you to reach out to them right now. They're saying, "Look, I got something for you." They're trying to get your attention, trying to win you over. Maybe they feel like you aren't noticing them, um, but they don't want to seem like they're forcing it. Could be for sex in exchange for a gift or something like that. Like this person wants to have sex with you. Um, I'm seeing that for sure, for sure. You feel like this talk, this, this cycle is toxic, okay? Queen of Cups here. The Will and the Five of Swords. It's a chance that things could just go wrong, all wrong. And this is something that I feel like you fear. So you may have told this person to leave. Look, we this is done with. We need to let this go. Okay. Now, like I said, for some of you with the emperor here, oh, this person. Oh, somebody. I feel like you're going to be surprised because this person is trying to manifest you back into their life. And they come in strong. They come in real strong. And see, we got the Empress and the Nine of Swords. Like I said, 
This is definitely twin flame energy, a lot of connections. The Empress, Emperor, the King of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Swords, uh, Queen of Swords. Look, this is the Queen of, I'm sorry, this is the Empress here with the Emperor, okay? For some of you, this is a baby mother, baby father connection, but I feel like, this person is trying to manifest you back into their reality. Okay. Um, oh, I see somebody asking a lot of questions to find out something. And something, sure enough, comes out um, about another person, somebody's option, Seven of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Um, somebody found out the Fool and the Knight of Wands. Um, the Fool and the Nine of wands okay something that was supposed to be hidden and never was supposed to come out we got the three of cups two of pentacles and the eight of wands this is supposed to just stay between stay between uh, a circle but this person wants to come in and bring stability they want to come in and bring money uh they want to come in and bring long-term energy whoever this person is oh and they say they don't want to be stopped they don't want to be stopped. They do not want to be stopped. And there's gossiping. All right. There's some gossiping going on. Now, when I see the Page of Swords and Three Cups, this is definitely chit chatter, gossip around the city. Um, a bunch of people whispering and gossiping about, about this connection, okay? About you and this person. About you guys' this relationship. What type of relationship are y'all in with this king of pentacles? This person got a lot of money. Or this person is about their bread. Like, they got a good job. They may have a business. They may be very goal-oriented, entrepreneur type of energy. But Somebody feel like they said too much. Yeah, too much information done got out. Too much was said. Too much information is floating around. Now there's hearsay. Now there's gossip. Now there's gossip and hearsay. Um, and the streets is talking. The streets is talking about this. All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. All right, ciao for now.